Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the general manager and cloud ERP evangelist with Leverage Cloud Technologies. What I'd like to do in today's video is give you a little bit of an example of what the integration is that is possible when you're working with MYOB Advanced and Office 365. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'll start up MYOB Advanced. Now, if this is your first time looking at the solution, uh, MYOB Advanced is a complete cloud-based enterprise resource planning application. And so the only thing you need to be able to run MYOB Advanced is a web browser. So when you first log on to your, uh, your MYOB Advanced uh, system, all you need is you just need the URL, which gets set up specifically for your organization when you sign up under a software as a service agreement um, to, to have access to MYB Advanced. So I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna log in using my username and password. And what it's gonna do is gonna allow me to have administrator rights because I'm set up as a user that is an administrator. So as the administrator, I basically can do everything inside the software. So if you're looking at some of these things and thinking, well, gee, I'm not necessarily sure I wanna have everybody doing all of those kinds of things um, that you're doing there, Richard, then uh, don't worry. You can really tighten the security down as much as you want, even to the point where you can set it up so that certain people only have access to certain records. So certain salespeople can only access certain customers uh, and so on and so forth. So. You know, when it comes to security, it's fair to say that that is well handled in the application and you can get as granular uh, as you want. And of course, that's one of the things that we do at Leverage is we help you determine what that security needs to look like to match your business requirements. But anyway, as I said, this is the MYOB Advanced User Interface. Now, the first screen you see here is your dashboard. So this is basically where you set up the different dashboards according to the roles that you have. And you can see right now, this is my admin dashboard. But that's not the focus of today's session. You can see other videos talking about the general user interface of MYOB Advanced. Uh, again, from the same location, the same website or YouTube channel where you're watching this video from. But one of the things that's really, really cool with uh, with MYOB Advanced is that you have the ability to go in here um, into the system and you go to this option called customization. And what you can do inside the customization option is you can build queries. Now, most of you are familiar with the ability to build queries working with data. You specify, what do I want to see? Put some parameters on it and then specify, you know, how do I want that represented? So in MYOB Advanced, that's what we call a generic inquiry. Uh, and the idea behind generic inquiries is that they form so many um, they form the backbone for so many different things inside MYOB Advanced. So some of those widgets that you saw on the dashboard, they actually come from generic inquiries. You can even do data entry on a screen that is based on a generic inquiry. So in best television chef mode, let's go and let's have a look. Um, here's some I've created earlier. So you can see we have all these different generic inquiries. For example, let's say I have uh, a generic inquiry which shows me all of the opportunities that are in the system. So I'm just gonna select that from my list here. So this is coming from our, uh, our CRM side of the, the application. And when we build a generic inquiry, very, very simple. You just say, well, these are the tables I want. You build relationships between those tables. So if the data is coming from multiple uh, database tables, you structure that accordingly. Specify some parameters that you get prompted for at runtime if you want to. But then the most important thing uh, is, you know, the conditions that you specify and, of course, the results grid. And the results grid is where you specify all the data that you're going to see when you run the generic inquiry. So that's great. Here's my generic inquiry. I simply go here and I say view inquiry. And what it does is it now runs that uh, that generic inquiry for me and I get the data. So what's basically happening here is in real time, the system's diving into the back end of the database 
and it's pulling all this data out. Now you'll see there's a variety of different options that you get when you're looking at these opportunities. So I can see all the open opportunities. I can see the opportunities that I'm nurturing, the, the opportunities that were won, that were lost and so on. Or I can just go here and I can say, show me all the records that I have currently in the system. So here's a couple of uh, here's a couple of data records that are sitting in the back end demo data that we have to work with. So you can see there is the information that I want. Now, let's start talking about integration with Microsoft Excel because that's going to be the part of Office 365 that we're going to we're going to look at here. So you'll see everywhere inside MYOB Advanced uh, almost every data display screen has this Excel icon which gives you the ability to export to Excel. So you give that one click, and what that will do is that will then take the data that you're looking at on the screen, it's gonna pump it out to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna hit save there. Now I'm working with Google Chrome as my web browser, but of course, MYOB Advanced can work with any web browser, Google Chrome, Safari on the Mac, um, Opera on Linux, Firefox on Linux or Windows or Mac. Um, so it's really, uh, it's really browser independent because the entire user interface is built using HTML5. But you can see in this particular instance, I'm using Chrome and what Chrome does is it uh, downloads that, that Excel spreadsheet. So I go in here and I open up Excel and there is the data. It's all pushed out for me into my Excel spreadsheet. So now the important thing to note with this, this Excel spreadsheet now has a live link back into your data, live and secured. So I can go in here and I can say enable editing and it's just warning me, hey, you've got a data connection in here. By default, it's disabled. I'm gonna enable that content. So now imagine you've taken that Excel spreadsheet, you're on the road. You wanna get an update before you go into a meeting. Well, all you need to do is you go here to data and you say refresh all. So what are you gonna see? It's prompting you for your username and password that you use inside MYOB Advanced. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the same username and password and I'll say okay there. I'm not gonna say remember my credentials. And you'll see here it's running a background query and the data is refreshed and uh, you've got a, an indication that the data has been refreshed with the new date and time. Well, that's all very nice. Um, you know, but there's, that's not really that spectacular. I mean, there's a lot of ERP applications that can't do that, just that live link. But we've taken it one step further. Now, let me explain. If I go back into uh, MYOB Advanced and I go in to my generic inquiry, I can go back here, I can click on customization when I've got the generic inquiry open because I'm the admin, I can do this. I say edit the generic inquiry. now. I call up that generic inquiry, you'll see there's this option here that it says exposed via OData. Well, what's OData? OData stands for open data or open data, depending on your accent. Uh, now, open data is basically a web services standard that makes it easy for applications to communicate. So this is really part of that whole new world of, uh, of working um, with cloud applications. And this is one of the reasons why Office 365 and MYOB Advanced work so well together because they both support those same standards out of the box. I'll show you what I mean. All I have to do here is tick that box and say expose via OData. And then I'll hit save. So that's now done. What you'll now see, if I go back into Excel, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new spreadsheet. So I'll say new, I'll just create a blank workbook. So I've now got a new blank workbook. Let's just make that full screen size. So Office 365 and Excel in particular supports OData. So I can go in here and I can say data and I can say get it from another source and you'll see here it is from an OData data feed. So all I do is I put in the same URL that I'm using for the MYOB advanced login. So in this particular case, uh, and it's HTTPS because it's all secured with 128-bit uh, uh, encryption technology. So HTTPS demo dot leverage cloud t 
tech dot com dot au now what i then do is i tell the system that i want to get the data from odata so i just put the odata option there if i'm working with multiple companies i'd also want to put a slash and then the company name but my sample data's only got one company in it so i put in that url and then i'm going to go in here and i need to tell it what username and password do i want to use um, for this uh, for this connection so again security is the key so again, I put in my username and my password. And then I'll say next. And so now it's connecting over the internet using those web services that I was talking about. It's establishing a secure connection. And there it is. There is that generic inquiry that I tick that box saying make available via OData. I'm going to select that. I'll say next. So now other people might want to use this when they're building other um, Excel spreadsheets. So I'll go in here, I can give it a file name. Uh, I can tell it to save the password in the file. All right, if I want to go ahead and do that, but of course you want to be careful with that. Security, always be thinking, is that the right thing to do? Then give the file a description. This is the opportunities in MYOB advanced and I can give it a friendly name here as well I can just call it uh, myob advanced opportunities all right and then I'll say finish and it's now going to ask me and this is just standard Excel functionality now it's going to say do you want to take this data and put it into a workbook in a table or in a pivot table or a pivot chart uh, how do you want to do that? So I'm just going to put it in into a table. So I'll say OK. It's now retrieving the data. You can see it down the bottom there, retrieving data. Then it's going to put that into a table. And you'll see that the data that I have is exactly what uh, was available to me in the generic inquiry. But of course, now I've got all this really nice functionality that's available for me that's provided by Microsoft Excel. So I'm able to go now and start graphing this and charting it. Or I can go in here and I can go to my data again. I can say, use an existing connection. There's that connection. And I can say this time, I actually want to put it, put it into a pivot chart. And I'm going to put it into a new worksheet and I'll say, OK. So you can see it automatically creates a new worksheet. Now I've got my pivot chart and I can pop this in here. And then I can now start selecting the information. So I've got my opportunity subject and then I've got my total value. So now I can see the total value by opportunity. And you can see how quick and easy that is. I actually might wanna see that uh, value by opportunity ID. Or I might wanna say, show me the total by business account, which is the customer name. So I'll say by business account name. And then I might say, you know what, I want to take this and I actually want to sort it. Okay, so I want to sort it from highest to lowest or whatever the case may be. So I can put value filters in on all of this. Okay, so I can just say, show me the top 10, top five, um, where it's equal to a certain value, greater than or less than a certain value. I can even go in and now start adding additional dimensions. So I can say, show me that also incorporating the owner name. All right, now in this particular instance, these opportunities don't have a sales rep flagged against them. So that's why I get that blank value. Um, if I choose owner, same scenario there, you'll see um, I've got both of those fields, but I don't get, uh, don't get any data sitting behind that. But the great thing about this is, of course, you can slice and dice the data as much as you like now. You want to look at it by currency, you can do that. You want to look at it on the basis of the estimation, um, you know, when you think the opportunities are going to close and so on and so forth. So really, really powerful functionality. So there you have it. Very, very simple, just using standard functionality, using the power of cloud technologies in MYOB Advanced and Microsoft Excel, part of Office 365, and getting that instantaneous linkage between Excel and the data to enable you to start extracting business insight. If you'd like to know more about um, MYOB Advanced, maybe you're an existing MYOB Advanced user and you wanna learn more about how you can integrate it with uh, Office 365, 
or you're using uh, another ERP solution, you're looking at this and thinking, wow, that looks pretty good. I'd like to investigate that a little bit more. Please visit our website at www.leveragecloudtech.com.au. Uh, and click on the request a meeting and I'd be more than happy to spend half an hour with you uh, just doing an investigation of you know what are some of the issues that you might be facing and how we can help you solve those issues with MYOB Advanced. Thanks very much. Thank you for watching.